what is it like inside a black hole so what we understand about black holes comes from the theory of general relativity and this theory says that when you take a mass any mass and you compress it further and further the effect it has on space time becomes more and more acute so if if space time is a sheet and a ball of mass produces produces this distortion in the field in the sheet then the more condensed a mass is the more uh, the more dense a mass is the greater it's going to stretch the fabric of space time and if you compress a mass sufficiently enough so that it becomes equal to or less than its so called schwarzschild radius then it basically produces an infinite amount of uh, warping of this fabric of space time and that's what we call a black hole so the equations of general relativity einstein's equations they produce what's called a singularity which means it's division by zero it doesn't mean that there's an actual infinite density in there it actually means that our theory isn't able to handle that possible that that specific condition it means our theory isn't accurate enough it 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 shows up the limitations of the theory of general relativity it tells you that we need to be able to formulate a better theory we need to formulate a better theory one that takes into account account the the quantum uh domain of the universe so we basically need to find a way to reconcile quantum mechanics quantum field theory and general relativity which is something we haven't achieved thus far because if you try to quantize gravity it doesn't work it blow it blows up it breaks down uh, you cannot have uh, i mean you cannot have uh, quantum field theory doesn't work in curved space time etc so these are the the problems that theoretical physicists are grappling with so essentially what i'm trying to say in so many words is we don't know what's inside a black hole a black hole is something that's it's a region of space time that's cut off completely from outside orbit uh, from outside observers the boundary is what's called the event horizon and there is no way of knowing what's inside because everything that goes inside never comes out uh except in the form of thermal radiation the so called hawking radiation which doesn't tell you anything about what's really inside the 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 black hole so what's inside a black hole we don't know there could be well there are speculations the it, a black hole be could possibly be a bag of single dimensional strings perhaps it could be something that contains just uh, radiation photons maybe it contains just pure mass that's another speculation or possibility some people say that a supermassive black hole could or any black hole could essentially be a pathway to a different universe it could end on the other side in a white hole and and bring you out in a different universe in which time flows backwards <laughs> and then it's it's also a possibility that supermassive black holes may contain entire universes inside them so these are speculations but we have no way of knowing first of all because we don't have access to a black hole on which we can do experiments because you know what black holes do they they suck everything in in so we don't have access to a black hole in a laboratory we don't have any uh, black hole that anywhere nearby us that we uh, that we can observe and and get a be get better idea of and the theoretical framework that we have isn't able to explain uh, or answer these questions of what is the internal structure of a black hole we know that black holes have mass they have charge they have angular momentum and basically these are the three things that uh, characterize the properties of a black hole we don't know much beyond that so there is a great deal of research happening into the this very much into this this matter but as of today this is another example of the limitations of our understanding of nature we don't know what is the internal structure of a black hole we don't know what's inside we don't know what's beyond so it's a great question and these are the questions that drive physics forward